Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about correctness of Dijkstra algorithm and going to prove it. Dijkstra is the most efficient algorithm to find shortest path from the source vertex to every other vertex in the weighted graph. It is greedy selection of the node with minimum distance that makes Dijkstra efficient. You would be probably knowing that Dijkstra runs in linear rhythmic time. For greedy selection to work, it is important that there should not be any negative weights in the graph. We select the node with minimum distance at each stage of exploration and update the distance stored at its neighboring vertices. If the new distance along the outgoing edge is less than the previous distance at any neighbor, that distance is updated to new distance and we call this process as relaxation. The algorithm starts by setting the distance at source vertex to zero and infinity for the rest. And then from the source node, it relaxes all outgoing edges. When I say relaxation, it means that updating the distance to all nearby neighbors to new lower value if new value along the edge is less than the previous value. And this continues, we greedily go on selecting node one by one till we are done with all the nodes in the graph. When we pick the next most promising node, that is the node with the minimum distance. We make the claim that shortest distance to this node has been calculated and it would never get updated again. And we are going to discuss the proof for this claim only. We will make use of the proof by induction. So let me give a brief background of what is proof by induction. A proof by induction consists of two cases. The first case is the base case which proves the statement for one, n equal to zero without assuming any knowledge of the other cases. In the second case, that is the induction step, proves that if a statement holds for any given case where n equal to k, then it, it also holds true for the next case n equal to k plus one. Okay, so let's do the formal proof. When we are at source vertex, we mark the distance to zero and it cannot get any better because Dijkstra only contains positive weight, it cannot contain negative weight. So with positive weight, the distance can never be less than zero. And hence our claim holds true for single node. Now let's go ahead and uh, do our verification for couple of more nodes. So from S I can go to its adjacent nodes. Okay, I can go to node A and node B. And once I have updated the distance at node A and B, D equal to one here, D equal to two here. I will call these node as relaxed and this is the, and I'll mark S as visited or settled node. And I'll simply claim that uh, we are not going to come back to S again. And at the same time also, since we are going to select next minimum, which is A, we are not going to come back to it as well. And we will see why. From here, I'm going to gridly select A because it has the distance D equal to one. Can there be any path which is shorter than SA path, right? So any any other path will go via B. If I have, let's say, part of graph, which is subgraph, you know, and there is some node going into this subgraph and coming back to node A from that subgraph, okay? So SA distance is one, any alternate path will go via B, S, B, and then some some path and coming back to, will come back to A. And this is going to be some positive number, okay. S, A was, this distance was one, this distance is two. Now the initial distance itself, two, is bigger than one. So there is no point selecting the alternate path because the initial distance itself is high and then on top of it, we are going to add some positive number. And hence, we will be uh, safely removing node A from the priority queue and update its neighbors. And hence our claim holds true here as well. Next, we propose the hypothesis that we have done this calculation for K nodes, okay? And those K nodes are at their minimum distance. So they become part of the settled node set here. So here, these are all the relaxed nodes, which are updated, you know, when we were selecting all these nodes with their minimum distance. So 
these are all the relaxed nodes which have their distances updated and but they are still not part of the settled node set so what happens is uh, in dijkstra we select node with the minimum value and here the minimum value that dijkstra selects is let's say dv uh, the calculation just for example i'll take here some arbitrary number let's say 100 i have taken here the di distance to come at v was 100 the, the distance to come at y was let's say 105 and the distance to come at z was 110 and uh, so the extra will select the next node with the minimum distance and will bring it to the visited set now there are two ways to come to node v one is via the visited set only or other way is like we go to some node outside of visited set some relaxed node and then from there i come back to v when we come directly to v from the visited set from the Dijkstra calculation, we know that we have done the calculation when we have found out the minimum value dv equal to 100. Okay, and then we make the claim that this is the node with the shortest distance and it's not going to be updated in future. But for proof, now we want to defy it. We want to say that there is some alternate path using which if we come, we may find some shorter route. So currently dv is at minimum. So can there be any alternate path if you see that the only alternate path that we have is going from the visited set to some relaxed node maybe uh, that first relaxed node i have called as y node and the last node that was there in the visited set is x node so the path goes like this s to x to y and then it come back to v so it can come by back via this path or it can come back via this path and then it come back to v this is some positive number okay and then s to x to y since it falls on the shortest path so distance of y will always be here less than equal to distance of v because y comes before v and there is some positive distance in between and if you see here initially uh, from Dijkstra calculation what we found out was dv was the minimum dv was the minimum which means dv was even less than equal to dy and now you see if you take alternate path we, we see that dy you see here dy is less than equal to dv and both of these cannot be true at the same time our calculation suggested that dv was less than dy and when we defy it we find out that in fact dy is lesser than dv the only time this inequality holds true is when v and y are same node it means simply that there is no alternate path and we can safely remove v from the relaxed node list and we can bring it back to the settled node so this was mathematical proof intuitively if you see there is since we have done the calculation and we know that at v we are at minimum distance and all other distance are higher at other nodes and if we take any alternate path you know maybe via some other relaxed node they are definitely going to end up higher than what we have at v so v distance is never going to be updated in future so thank you i think that was about it if you have any question feel free to comment and ask and i'll definitely answer